Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. It's Friday morning and it's around nine o'clock or so right now. I have a huge list of things that I would like to get done, ideally today, realistically by tomorrow. There's just a lot I need to catch up on that I haven't had a chance to do. I've literally only focused on work this week and I have a couple of updates with you guys that I'm gonna be sharing throughout the video. I'll kind of explain everything that's been going on lately. I know I've been really inconsistent with posting and so I think what I'm gonna start doing from now on is just filming on the weekends. I don't know, we'll see. I might have my sister start editing for me again so that I can get more content out for you guys. But I do have a huge list of things that I like to get done. So I'm gonna go over that. I do have to do all the times and details for our drivers. So I'm actually gonna sit down and do that in a little bit. From there, I have to do my nails because they're literally so bad. They're all chipped. And I actually even broke a nail this week. So that really sucks because they were starting to grow really nicely. From there, I do have to budget so that I can do a cash stuffing video. I do also have to run to the bank and then film my cash stuffing when I get back home. I would like to get a car wash today, but I don't think that I'm gonna have time for it. I might have to just do it tomorrow, so that's okay. As long as I get it done this weekend because my car is disgusting right now, that's all that matters. I do also have to do something with a brand that I'm working with, so I have to sit down and go through all these options and everything like that. And then I would like to do a TikTok video if I have time for that. I would also like to dye my hair. It's totally grown out, it's fading, and it's really bothering me. So I just want a solid, fresh color and I'm just gonna box dye it myself. I do also have to go to the thrift store today and I'll explain why later, but I'm for sure, for sure gonna do that today. And then tomorrow my boyfriend and I are celebrating our three year anniversary. So we are going to have a picnic. It's so cute. He's gonna make a charcuterie board <laughs> and everything. It's gonna be 86 tomorrow. It was 97 yesterday and it's gonna be 94 today. So it has been very hot. Originally I wanted to wear like a cute sweater or something, but I'm not doing that in 86 degree weather. So I wanna buy like either a cute button up or a cute blouse, just something that I can wear tomorrow for a little picnic. And tonight we are going to a pumpkin patch with my entire family. So we're meeting around five o'clock there. So I probably have to be ready and out the door by 4.30, which is why I don't have a ton of time to do everything, but we're still gonna get done as much as we can. I'm gonna make myself a nice coffee right now because I haven't had caffeine yet and I'm really feeling it. So I'm gonna have my coffee, do everything for the drivers. And I think I'm gonna start on my nails first because I need them done before I film the video. Might as well just knock it out already because that's gonna take the longest it should take me about an hour or so, hoping it takes less, but we'll see. It's basically 12 o'clock already. My nails are finally done. This is what they look like. I actually love this color. This is the broken one, so it's a lot shorter than the rest, but that's okay. Um, I didn't take three hours to do my nails, by the way. Also, I had to do my budget, and I had a budget for three different paychecks. And then, as well as, I did have to do the start times for all of our drivers, send those details out. So I am still working right now. We're gonna get going. I have to check the mail. Then I gotta go to the bank, and I'm gonna hit up a few thrift stores. Actually, shoot. I had a bag that I wanted to donate like a bag of clothes but I don't feel like going back upstairs right now so we're just gonna head out that's gonna be for another day so far that I've checked off my list is not much but let me see here we've painted our nails budget we're about to go to the bank we'll see how much we can get done my goal is to be out for like maybe two hours i want to try to go to three different thrift stores they're all pretty local to each other so it shouldn't take too long the bank's gonna take me about five minutes i'm usually in and out of there especially if i get the girl that i always get so we'll see how long we take but we have to get going because i still have to get ready for tonight hopefully we don't take too long i just left the bank and i'm currently on my way to the first of three thrift stores two are relatively in the same area and the third one is a little bit further out out. The third one is my favorite one, but if I don't have to drive out that far today, then I won't. So we'll see what I find at the first two, and if I don't find anything, then I'm just gonna make my way out there. But the reason I'm going to the thrift stores is because if you guys follow me on my cash stuffing channel, then you'll have already heard this news. But if not, I did decide to get another job. Now, <laughs> I'm not quitting the one I currently have or any of my side hustles. What I'm doing is just adding that to my current pay. So basically, I work full time with my parents still. 
my mom did allow me to dramatically cut my hours down so that I would have enough rest for the next day because this is a very very taxing job I actually work Monday through Thursday which is why I haven't picked up my camera 10 hour days so I'm literally waking up at 3 30 in the morning it is a physically demanding job so I do work at a warehouse I won't say where or which one but when I tell you guys that this is the most difficult job I have ever done like it's no joke every single day I come home exhausted like this takes all of the energy out of me I know that it's gonna take some time to adjust because I'm literally loading trailers all day long with giant boxes it's a lot this first week I know my body has to adjust but I was so ridiculously sore and it just so happened that I ended up wearing the wrong shoes on the first day so I've had blisters the entire rest of the week and I'm really hoping that this weekend I can kind of wear some like open back shoes so that they can heal a little bit more but yeah it's been a lot it's been very hard the reason I did decide to get another job I'm not quitting my parents job there's no way I'm leaving the family business if you follow me on my cash stuffing channel i'll have mentioned that i do have a debt that i would like to just get rid of and get out of my name already it's not crazy compared to you know some numbers that you might hear for like credit card debt or anything like that it also includes my student loan some medical bills my dental as far as like my aligners and everything like that so i want my paychecks to be my paychecks and not a credit card companies i did the numbers i did all the math and everything like that and while this might be a very hard job like the hardest thing I've ever done at the same time it's not gonna require me to be there very long because the pay is pretty good I only work four days a week and yeah they're 10-hour days but I still have my weekends I'm not missing any church because I don't work evenings and it's a set schedule so if I stick to this job like I have planned and don't give up before then then I should have paid off this debt within the next five to six months that doesn't include any like magic months or anything like that so it will be done in a relatively quick time frame i'm hoping like god willing honestly yeah it's been hard and because it's a warehouse and i'm moving boxes all day long like literally stacking these trailers all the way to the top my clothes has been getting extremely dirty i've been wearing things that i don't really care for but at the same time i only have so much so i want to go to the thrift store get clothes that i don't mind dirtying or ripping because sometimes my clothes gets caught in like the pallets and stuff like that and i get little like snags and stuff on my clothes or i come back and my sleeves are black which also i have to wear sleeves i just bought compression sleeves because my arms are so scratched up right now i have bruises all over my body literally my legs it looks like somebody just beat me up like not even gonna lie and the first day i felt like i got hit by a bus like i am so sore <laughs> i feel really good today thank god and i haven't had any back issues which is something that i actually did worry about for a little bit because i do have a history of chronic back pain i know that god healed me from that and that's not something i struggle with anymore but obviously i don't want to self-inflict any pain on myself or injury by not doing what i'm supposed to do to take care of myself so i did buy a back brace like one of those warehouse ones that are flexible enough for you to move in that has significantly helped and then I'm just taking all the techniques that I learned in CrossFit and trying to lift as properly as I can I'm using all the right things that I can to get this job done the way that I have to while maintaining a high performance but also maintaining my physical health I'm looking for some clothes I'm gonna look more specifically in the men's section because it does get really hot and I don't like wearing fitted clothes because I'm sweating all day long I've also lost about five pounds since I started working there and it's only been a week I'm losing average a pound a day because I'm chugging so much water like literally by the time I get home I've already walked 30,000 steps and I've drank over a gallon of water and I'm meal prepping for myself so the food that I take is very healthy and my snacks are like fruits and nuts and you know I'll maybe take skinny pop or something like that I'll take my energy fizz from Arbonne and so everything that I'm taking is healthy it keeps my energy levels high and it gives me what I need to be able to get through the day without coming out like exhausted feeling like I'm falling asleep or food that's too heavy that's not gonna allow me to do my job right so I've been meal prepping and honestly I feel like I've been on a really good routine since I started working and probably was the best thing for me like as far as my weight loss goes so I am happy about that but it is a lot okay so I feel like I actually got really lucky with a lot of this stuff so it's not all for work but look how cute this sweater is 
It's literally $3.99. I'm definitely gonna get that one. I saw this men's button down. It has a Nordstrom tag on it, and this one is $5.99 just something kind of oversized and comfortable then this one would actually probably be for work i like to wear long sleeves to protect my arms and on days where i don't have my compression sleeves on me maybe i can wear something like this next is just this basic oversized t-shirt just something to be comfortable in because it gets really hot okay this is the part i know for sure i'm gonna look like a full-on man but i don't really care i'm not trying to impress anybody anyway i found these wrangler pants then I found another long sleeve. These probably are a little bit thick for working in a warehouse, but I don't care. I'm just trying to protect my arms at this point. I also found this sweater for when it gets a little bit cooler. Kind of like this, just on an everyday basis. I found this super oversized fleece and it still has a tag on it. This wouldn't even be for work. This would just be for me to wear with some baggy shorts. And I found some other cargo pants. I was actually going to buy myself some on Amazon for like $40. These are also Wrangler. And they're literally $3.99. And then I also found a green pair. These are shorts, you guys. Look how cute they are. Obviously, they come with this big old stain, but I don't care. I'm going to wear them to work. I also found these. They will obviously get dirty. But again, I'm shopping at the thrift store so that I don't feel as bad. Like completely trashing something that cost me under $10 versus wearing my good clothes and then completely ruining that. And these have these little pockets in the front. I also found these. They're size medium. They're $1.99. These Chicago Bulls shorts. How cute are these? I'm gonna calculate all of this. I'm done shopping at this store. I'm gonna pay and then I'll show you guys the receipt at the end. Okay guys, for this giant trash bag of clothes and then this bag still, it cost me $72. Like I honestly cannot believe it. I was gonna pay $40 for one pair of pants on Amazon and I got tons and tons of clothes for $70. I could stop here, but I'm gonna go check out the other thrift stores just in case. I just got home and I'm about to do a little bit of a try on haul, but I got all of this. I don't like going to Goodwill just because it's always so much more expensive, but I did find some cute stuff. So for these two was $75 and for this bag was 97. So for everything, I basically paid less than 175. I'll show you the receipts. Goodwill was 97.35 and the other thrift store was 72.02. So I'm very excited to try all this on. Okay, so first thing is this oversized fleece sweater that I showed you guys. I'm pretty sure this is like Costco or Sam's Club or something, but it's super comfortable for when it actually decides to get cold around here. I definitely will be wearing this either with leggings or biker shorts like this. So next are these two things. I got this tank top at Goodwill. I'm just gonna say it said it was a large. It definitely is not a large. I am struggling to breathe in this thing. It's so tight. But I also got these men's little cargo shorts and they're actually super cute they are stained obviously right here but honestly i really don't care i'm gonna be wearing them for work i think i'll be okay with this honestly i really don't even care for the stain so if i wanted to wear this out i totally would next i have these cargo pants so these are some wrangler cargo pants for $3.99 they're actually very comfortable and like i said i was gonna pay over $40 for some cargo pants on amazon instead i got some for four dollars i got a couple of other pairs so i'm gonna show you what those look like okay so i don't really know what brand these are but i really like them these were $7.99 that's just what they look like this men's long sleeve that I'm most likely just gonna keep tucked in because it's pretty long unless I wear like biker shorts or something then I'll leave it out Like I said, I'm probably gonna be looking like a guy to work I was just looking for clothes that I wouldn't be paying a lot for and end up ruining anyway a few dollars for some thrift store finds for work And I can like tug on it snags, whatever Stains or I don't care. It's not gonna hurt me because it didn't really cost much next is this outfit right here It's this men's sweatshirt and this one was $3.99 and then some other 
other Wrangler cargos. These are more of a tan color, which I actually really like. These are a little bit longer than the last ones, but that's totally fine. I don't really care. These were $5.99 for whatever reason. They were $2 more than the last ones. This is the next outfit, and I literally still have so much to try on. Next are these off-white cargo shorts, and these were $5.99. I actually really like them. Like they're super comfortable. They have like a little bit of a stretch to the band. These are also a really good length. Okay, I also found these shorts. They're so comfortable. I might even just keep them as pajamas. These are the Chicago Bulls ones that I told you guys about. Next is this men's long sleeve. I'm telling you guys, I only shopped in the men's section at this store and it was all oversized, it was all comfortable. I got this one. I kind of just like it just as normal wear. Okay, this I would say was one of my favorite finds of the day. I would actually wear this with some jeans. I wouldn't wear this to work, but I really liked it. It's a vintage sweater. It's just super comfortable. It's cute. I like the color and I would probably just wear this with some light jeans and some white sneakers or something. Okay, so I didn't feel like buttoning this whole thing, but this was at Nordstrom's men's button-up shirt. Nothing special about this t-shirt, but honestly, I'm thinking now I might just want to keep it as an everyday wear like this with my biker shorts. It's either going to be that or pajamas. Okay, so moving on to the Goodwill finds. This is a little bit on the funkier side for me, but I thought it would look really cute with some black jeans and my black booties. I got this top. I think this is like an XL and it's actually from Old Navy. Then I got this yellow tank top and it is a little bit of an awkward fit, I will say. So I think with this, I would wear some high-waisted jeans. I don't know. I'm kind of 50-50 on this one. If I don't like it after I'm like fully ready, then I'm just going to give it to one of my sisters. Okay. So I also got this little vintage tank top and I actually think it's really cute. I kind of like the cut of it. Again, I feel like I can't really picture what my outfits are actually going to look like until I'm fully ready with my hair down and everything. But I do actually like it. Next is another little vintage top, which I actually really like. This is different from what I normally wear, but I actually really like it. This is what the pattern kind of looks like. Going along with the same kind of sleeveless button up, I found this one. I think it might be Old Navy and I think I can make it work, but right now it's kind of a little bit awkward because obviously my hair and my outfit. I really like this dress. It's super comfortable. It's flowy. It's from Old Navy. It was $8. I know this doesn't match, but I found this one. It actually Actually comes with shoulder pads which I've never really seen on a cardigan and it's a little bit more fitted I will say it's very itchy so I'm gonna have to kind of think about that one but this one cost $6.99 and finally this is the last thing that I got and I actually ended up really liking it right now that I tried it on it's this blue dress obviously it comes with like this whole open thing in the front so I will be wearing a bandeau to cover that up but how cute is it I feel like this will look really cute with some white sneakers Alrighty, I just finished up my cash stuffing video. I literally did like three paychecks in one video. So it was a little bit longer. It's currently 3.35 and I think I'm gonna take a small nap. My boyfriend is gonna pick me up at 4.30 so that we can go meet my family at the pumpkin patch. I'm kind of just gonna go like this. Obviously, I'm gonna change my outfit, but it's just gonna be casual. So I'm gonna take a small nap, maybe until like 4.05, 4.10. And I'm gonna get up, change, and and I'll be ready to go by then. It was a good video so far. I'm glad that I'm finally getting somewhere with my savings and kind of starting that over again. Very excited about it. But yeah, I'm kind of exhausted right now. I am washing my clothes from the thrift store. Let me see here what the weather's supposed to be like. Oh my gosh, it's 94 right now outside. And around five o'clock, it's gonna be 90. I'm probably gonna wear one of those tank tops that I just bought. So we'll see. I'll keep you posted.
Good morning. Today is Saturday and I'm currently having some caffeine. I'm gonna have two of these Arbon Fistics. I'm using my little orange Stanley. And then I gotta fill this one up right now with water because I know I'm dehydrated. I didn't drink enough yesterday. So I didn't get a chance to finish my list yesterday. What I have left to do today, but I've actually kind of knocked some of it out this morning. I had to do a TikTok for one of the brands that I'm working with. So I already did that. I posted it and I already sent it to the brand. I also had to go through a new list of things that they were gonna send me. So I did that as well. I also just worked on some things for our drivers for work. I really wanna get my a cute top just to wear today something preferably that's gonna cover my arms because from starting my new job this is kind of what they look like right now that's one arm that is the second one and so I want something maybe with a sleeve that is gonna cover all of my scratches it's not cute so I need to do that I'm not wearing any makeup because I don't want to do my makeup twice today today I'm celebrating my anniversary with my boyfriend so I'm just gonna do my makeup once later and that'll be it also not doing my hair because that's also on my list I need to buy box dye my hair when I get back home. While I'm out, I'm gonna get a car wash. And then I would like to go to Barnes & Noble today because I wanna buy myself a new notebook. We are going on our annual retreat for church next week. I don't know, I have a thing about notebooks and I have a $25 gift card, so I figured why not use it? I'm washing clothes right now, it should be done soon. I need to start heading out because it's already 10 o'clock and I have to be ready by around, mm, I wanna say 4.30, 4, 4.30. Let's get going. Uh, yeah, can I actually get the vanilla Roma one? The little trees one? Thank you. You too. the car wash so my car is clean my seats are conditioned everything's vacuumed and i'm gonna go get gas now i have half a tank but i don't like to let it go below that because then i'm like forgetting or struggling or in a rush to put gas and i always have to end up putting it like when i'm in a hurry to go somewhere so i'm gonna put gas right now and then i'm gonna make my way to tj maxx barnes and noble and maybe Trader Joe's since it's also in the area. Okay, so I'm at Barnes & Noble and I'm looking for a notebook, which there's actually a lot of really nice ones, but some of these are really pricey and I'm not trying to spend more than what I have on my gift card. I really like this one. I just don't know. I feel like this strap is gonna get on my nerves. So I think I'm gonna get this one because it's just a little bit different and I really like the colors. It's really thick. I feel like it's gonna be expensive. My sister has one similar. But I don't wanna get the same one as her because we mixed ours up last time. So I'm gonna try this one and see how I like it. Okay, so I came to Old Navy and I really like this striped button up. I'm just not sure that these pants are the most flattering. So I'll probably I leave the jeans, but I do like this. So this is an option. So I think this might actually be the outfit. I really like the white button down. And then I liked the jeans after all because I ended up puffing them at the bottom. And I'm gonna have to wear my Birkenstocks tonight because I have blisters on the back of my feet from the work week the first day I ended up wearing the wrong shoes. How does that look? I think that'll be fine. Okay. I think this is actually the outfit tonight. That was a lot easier than I thought. I think I'm gonna get some Seven Leaves coffee because the fizz didn't do anything for me. And then I'm gonna head to Trader Joe's and call it a day. Okay, so I just left and I'm so happy. I ended up finding everything that I needed on this one little location. So I got my outfit at Old Navy. Those jeans fit me perfectly. I have not had a pair of jeans fit me that well in so long. So I was very happy. I think it's because I lost a little bit of weight. So I'm excited about that. And then I got that white button up and I still got that blue striped one. I don't know if I'm going to keep it 
but I got it just in case. I even ended up getting a few things for my niece because it was just so cute. I couldn't resist and it was 50% off. Today was the last day, so I said, why not? Also, I ended up stopping at Seven Leaves. This is literally the best Vietnamese coffee and just a few sips gave me all the energy that I was looking for, so I'm happy about that. I contemplated going to Trader Joe's or not. I was like, you know what? I can't be in the area and not stop to go in. So of course I went in. I got a few things that I always like to have in my freezer. I got myself these fake Takis. They're actually pretty good. So I'm gonna snack on this for a little bit on my way home. It's already one o'clock. I'm gonna get home, dye my hair, and then we'll take the rest of the day from there. All right, so I'm just warming up some leftovers right now, but I figured I'd show you a few things that I got from Trader Joe's because why not? I got two bags of the chicken fried rice. This is literally my favorite. Then I got the orange chicken. These hash browns are honestly the best in the air fryer. I like to have those with some eggs or something like that. I saw this girl on TikTok post these for the entire container. It's only 250 calories and they are the chicken soup dumplings. So I haven't tried them yet, but I'm curious. I also got these chicken spring rolls. These taste really good in the air fryer as well. I think I've had these before. These are actually pretty good. Don't know how to pronounce it, but that's what they are. I ran out of my citrusy garlic seasoning. I literally put this on everything that I eat. It doesn't matter if it's chicken, eggs, whatever. I'll put it on every single thing that I eat. And I was running low, so I grabbed another one. I'm gonna stick this in the freezer, eat like a really small meal right now because I'm supposed to be ready by 4.30. It's currently 1.30. That is that for now. That coffee actually really did give me the energy that I was looking for, so I'm happy about that. I put on an old shirt that I don't care for. This is the color that I'm gonna do. It's just this medium brown. I promise my hair is not this greasy. I put hairspray in it yesterday and some like texturizing cream. So it looks dirtier than what it actually is. Do you guys ever get that feeling like as soon as you get to the salon or you get to a place where you know you're gonna dye your hair, suddenly it looks so much more faded and grown out than what you thought it did. Oh my gosh, I look horrible. I didn't realize how grown out my hair really was until just now. Okay, so this is what my hair ended up looking like and I can't even tell you how much I missed it. I feel like nothing goes better on a person than their natural hair color, but I just, I really like it. If you are contemplating going back to your natural roots, I say go for it. I mean, I don't really think you can go wrong with your natural color. So I feel like it just looks so much more fresh all over again. I feel like it looks healthier. It curls a little bit nicer and yeah, I'm just really excited. So let me just show you guys my outfit really quickly because my boyfriend is almost here. I am wearing these hoop earrings that my boyfriend got me and then my Annalisa necklace. I thought that this green touch would kind of go really nicely since it's a pretty simple outfit. I'm also wearing my Annalisa bracelets. Please ignore all my scratches. That's from work. My aura ring that I never take off. And then this is the outfit that I got at Old Navy today. So it's just this white button down. I got an extra large so that it could be oversized. And then these OG high rise jeans. I'm wearing my Birkenstock clogs because I mentioned earlier I have blisters on the back of my foot actually both my feet and so I can't really wear anything that covers and then I'm wearing this cute little crossbody it's like a chocolatey almost burgundy kind of color and it's just like fake leather it's basically just hold your phone and a couple of cards so that is my outfit for tonight and I'm just gonna take a sweater with me because we are going to the movies afterwards so I don't want to be cold there I might I might not film for the rest of the night so if I don't I'm gonna close it out here Alrighty, so this is the final look just one last quick overview of my outfit since I couldn't really get a great angle in my room. This is the final look and yeah, he should be here soon. He's on his way. He's just picking up some sushi for us and then we're gonna go have a picnic at the park. He's making this whole charcuterie board and everything. I'm actually really excited because he told me some of the things that he got. And then from there, we're gonna go to the movies and I think we're gonna watch The Blind, the one about the Robertsons. That should be all.